Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. In this video, we will be solving the question Stone Game 2. We have already solved the other parts of Stone Game. So till now it is up to Stone Game 7. In future, if they are going to add more parts, we will be adding the solutions to them as well. I would suggest you to watch the video for Stone Game 3, the link of which I will provide in the description. So in Stone Game 3, I have explained in very detail that how to go about solving the problem in a recursive fashion, then convert it into a top-down dynamic programming where we see that there's a lot. Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. In this video, we will be solving the question Stone Game 2. We have already solved the other parts of Stone Game. So till now, it is up to Stone Game 7. In future, if they are going to add more parts, we will be adding the solutions to them as well. I would suggest you to watch the video for Stone Game 3, the link of which I will provide in the description. So in Stone Game 3, I have explained in very detail that how to go about solving the problem in a recursive fashion, then convert it into a top-down dynamic programming where we see that there's a lot of repetition. And from the top-down dynamic programming, you can then convert it into bottom-up dynamic programming. After watching that, it will be very simple to solve this problem as well. Let us see the problem statement. Alice and Bob continue their game with piles of stone. There are a number of piles arranged in a row and each pile has a positive integer number of stones. The objective of the game is to end with the most stones. Alice and Bob take turns with Alice starting first. Initially, m is equal to 1. So there's a number m which is equal to 1 initially. On each player's turn, that player can take all these stones in the first x remaining piles. So where x can range from 1 till 2m both inclusive and then we set m as maximum of m comma x so x is the number of stones that we are picking the game continues until all these stones are being taken assume Alice and Bob's play optimally written the maximum number of stone Alice can get Alice is starting first we have to tell the maximum number of stones that she can get so let us create a function help this function is going to return us the difference the difference of total number of stones picked by Alice and the total number of stones picked by Bob. So we are starting from the index 0. It is going to denote the index. Then this is the M that they are talking about. Capital M. And a vector of int pile. If I is greater than or equal to let us denote it by p, p dot size, then return 0. As we reach the end. Otherwise, we can pick certain number of stones. So we can pick from int j is equal to 0, j is smaller than m, actually 2m, and j plus plus. So j plus 1 is the total number of stones that we are picking. Let us keep a variable that is total and if i, i is the starting index of the remaining array, i plus j, if i plus j is smaller than v dot size, if it is within the range, then we can pick this. So we can add this to total, total plus equal to p of i. We are picking up this stone and then we are trying to optimize the answer. So let us create answer, initialize this with int min and we will be maximizing this. So answer will be equal to maximum of answer comma total, the total number of stones picked till now plus the opponent's turn. Actually, we have to subtract this because we are calculating the difference. So, subtract the opponent's turn. It will be i plus j plus 1 because uh, till i plus j we have already picked and now to the opponent we will be passing i plus j plus 1 and maximum of m comma x. Now, what is x? x is j plus 1. x is the total number of stones picked and that is equal to j plus 1 and p so after this we have to return the answer the answer is actually the difference it is the difference of total number of stones picked by Alice and 
Bob. So let us say this is Alice. This is Bob. The total number of stone picked by her is A and by him is B. So we are getting A minus B. And we know that total number of stones are A plus B. So in order to find A, we have A plus B, the total number of stones that we can get uh, by taking the summation of entire piles. And this one we are able to achieve this using the helper function that we created. So we can simply add them both. By adding them we will get 2A and then we will divide it by 2 to get A. A is the answer. We have to return the number of stones picked by Alice and that will be the answer. So let us create a variable sum here to calculate the entire summation of all these stones in piles. Sum plus equal to A. And let us rename this as P. Now let us get the difference 0 comma 1 comma P and then we can simply return the sum plus the difference divided by 2. Let us try to run this once. Two into capital M. It is P dot size. So we made a slight mistake here. So the mistake is instead of adding P of I, we have to add P of I plus J. Let us run this now. And it is giving us correct answer. When we try to submit this, we will see that uh, it is going to give us time limit exceeded. And here we have the TLE. Why is it so? Because if you draw the recursive tree for the same, you will see that there is a lot of repetition here and we can actually memoize this. So in order to memoize this, the state of DP can be represented by I and M. So let us create a DP. I is the size and the size is 100. So let us create it of size 101 and M could be as large as 201. Now let us initialize this minus 1. Mimset dp minus 1 size of dp. Now we will see that if we already computed this, if dp of i comma m is already computed, then minus 1 won't be there. So we can return we can return dp of i comma m and if it is not computed we can compute the same and we can store it before returning this let us submit this now and now it got accepted now talking about the space and the time complexity the space complexity is of course n square here and because the constraints are low this solution is accepted so this is it for the solution please go and watch the other videos of stone game the link will be in the description thank you